Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm going to have a go at throwing an Indian style oil lamp. Um, first, first try ever. <laughs> so, let's see how it goes. Probably know by now folks, uh, if I see a form that interests me, I'm going to have a go at throwing it. <laughs> I think these are called Samai, Samais or something. What bit of research I have done, the, the name seems to vary. Um, normally made out of brass from what I can gather. Oh, I'm there for five weeks. Quite interesting folks. <laughs> they do seem to have quite a, a feature on in the centre section sticking up so I'll try and create that now. I think they're, they're uh, for festivals, I'm not 100% sure, so folks have not done any real research on them, just a little look. <clears throat> I was thinking about throwing this column section separately. And then attaching the top section, I thought I'd give it a go as a whole. I'm trying to increase the size of this dish now for the wicks to sit in. I also think they're for olive oil, um, so this needs to be quite shallow. But we know folks, olive oil doesn't like going vertical up a wick. <laughs> From my knowledge, they need to be quite horizontal. Like an acorn, like this. Oh, sorry, I've got to sort this stool out. <laughs> Drives you bonkers. Get a bit more height. Yeah, I could probably even hollow this this base section out slightly once it's leather hard. Every time I say base section I think of an orchestra. <laughs> okay. Don't want that ridge there. Yeah I'll leave it there for this one.
Um, bring that out a little bit more. Yeah, so keeping that pot, uh, dish nice and shallow. I actually think I've thrown it big enough to accommodate three wicks. Once again, just a bit of fun. I say that in quite a lot of my clips now. <laughs> We're trying these new unusual shapes. Right now for the something to use for the wick. What can I use folks? So use the back of one of my old cutting tools. other now never mind <laughs> I just put four in it it's not going anywhere um, the five wicks is significant from what I can gather yeah, something along those lines take the camera off quick different view Maybe when it's leather hard as well, I could trim that base a little bit more. Yeah, that could do. Could be in different shape, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Sami, I think S A M A I. So I'll get this fired and see if I can use it myself <laughs> usual yeah a few smaller pieces still heart bowls um, I did do a clip of me throwing these juices but there's so many clips on YouTube of people doing that um, I deleted it I've not thrown them like this before with the separate um, juice catcher just throwing this part before without the holes and then the little or in spout integrated into the rim. Um, yeah, a bit of clay recycling. I've got my new glazes mixed up. This is the Chun Saladin, um, a rust red. I poured, poured it on the inside and then I brushed two coats on the outside um, just to see how it brushes on and it brushes on lovely. Um, I, do, I do think it's actually a dipping glaze, but. So I'll we'll see how two coats fire on the outside. Yeah, the sun was shining again, everybody. <laughs> um, more glazed pieces there. Be interesting to see how this fires. I'll put the nuker on that thick. It's like a dried up riverbed. Um, yeah, toothbrush holders finished, ready for bisking. Quite a lot of stuff to get bisque fired. Oh yeah, folks, I, um, I made our cats uh, a couple of new bowls. Um, Yesterday, while I was um, fluting this one, I heard my, my Dremel drill in action and I could smell wood burning. Um, <laughs> so I went to check it out and my son, bless him, he saved his lollipop sticks to make me some tools for carving into my pots. <laughs> Which really touched my heart. <laughs> Yeah, so I thought I'd better have a go. So I used the end of this one on this cat bowl. <laughs> okay, everybody. 
Hope you're all doing well. Bye for now.